So it's time to review the newest Bulgari Man, and that's going to be Bulgari Man Terra Essence. Terra Essence. So, with this one here, it's going to be a little bit more divisive compared to a lot of the others. Uh, I've done a buying guide on this line, which maybe is out yet. Maybe it's not. I've already recorded it. I know what's going on here, but maybe you haven't seen it yet. But I went through the whole entire lineup except a couple discontinued ones, limited editions, whatever. For the most part, a lot of them are very easy to get along with. Not a whole lot of, of you know head-spinning, challenging ones in there. Uh, it's really a good designer line. I talked about that the buying guide. It's a great line that, that's hard for me to recommend just a couple, right? I would say almost get all of them if you could because they all are good. So this is going to be a little bit of the wild card, and I don't know if that's going to be the direction that they're going with this line indefinitely or if this is just kind of a one-off thing. But it does have some similarities to some other fragrances on the market, uh, other fragrances done by the same perfumer that did this one. And so we're just going to go and go over this one, going to tell you how it smells, how it performs, when you can wear it, and ultimately if I think it's worth picking up and kind of where it slots into the rest of the line. So when you first spray this one on, what you get right up top is this nice citron opening. It's very vibrant, very bright, very citrusy, and it really kicks this one off on a, a brighter front. You know, really gives it a nice punchy opening. It smells fantastic. It, it's really a nice, well done kind of citrus pop that doesn't smell synthetic or unnatural or repulsing or anything like that. And the type of citrus that this one opens up with is similar somewhat to Kind of the opening of this one here, Bulgari Man Extreme. Again, same perfumer, same line. This one's basically all citrus and cactus water or something, cactus juice and bergamot, grapefruit, everything. Uh, very fresh, going to be one of the freshest, citrus ones of them all. And so they kind of share the same kind of uh, sour, punchy, but also a little bit sugary bite up top. Now, what you'll notice is that Terra Essence will quickly start to go down a different road, right? It starts to pick up on some of these smokier, almost leathery and earthy smelling nuances. And that's where uh, a comparison to something else in particular starts to come into play. And that would be Gucci Guilty Absolute. Now, before you click off the video, if you're someone who does not like that fragrance, it's not a one-to-one -one clone. It, they're, they're still probably more different than not because Gucci Guilty Absolute is not giving an F, basically. Like Gucci, the creative directors behind that one, when they were working with Alberto Marias, they were like, okay, we do not care about making everyone happy. We want something daring. So that one has leather, vetiver. It almost smells like working in a shop. You know, you got engine oil and grease and tires and rubber and all that stuff. Very masculine, definitely not for everybody. So it's almost in a way like this one is taking that DNA, but it's bringing it back a few steps, right? Adding some citrus up top, making it a little bit more fresh, that sort of thing. Still has that earthiness and that, that strong vetiver, but just a different twist. And that's what attracted to me this one instantly is just, you know, how it does have that similar thing. Because I like Gucci Guilty Absolute. It's one that I really enjoy personally. It's not one that my girlfriend enjoys. It's not one that most people will enjoy. But for me, for a personal scent, I get a kick out of it. Let's go and take a look at the note breakdown here. Up top, we've got Citron and Calamansi, which I will be honest, I don't know what that is. In the mid, we have Vetiver and Iris. In the base, we have Earthy Notes and Styrax. So definitely get the Earthy Notes for sure. And that's a little bit vague, but really that's all you need to know. It does have an earthy smell to it. Uh, you get the Vetiver, and that's kind of giving off this, this woody smokiness about it. Of course, we already discussed the Citron or, or kind of sharp, a spicy, peppery, bergamot citrus opening that it has, you know, kind of like Bulgari Man Extreme. So we got that covered. Now, in terms of the iris here, or Oris, you get pick up on nuances, and that kind of smooths it out, makes it a little bit more sweet. Kind of uh, takes some of the harshness out of the fragrance. Again, you know, you're talking about vetiver, which depending on how it's used can be kind of sharp. In this instance, it is, you know, an earthy kind of dry vetiver, smoky somewhat. The earthy notes, of course, are, are coming through in full force here. And so the uh, Oris kind of gives it this uh, 
nice smooth kind of uh, semi creaminess underneath and that along with the citron is kind of helping to shape this one away and make it a bit more accessible because again going back to that Gucci Guilty absolute comparison that is not an accessible fragrance that is one that you need to be pretty sure of what you're getting yourself into because you may pick that one up and you just may hate it. I think this one would be a little bit harder to hate given that it is a little bit more approachable. But for me, I really enjoy it. You know, it's a kind of a, in a way, a spring and summer approachable Gucci Guilty Absolute. There's also comparisons to Ter d'Hermes, Eau Intense Vetiver and the original. And the vetiver in here is used in a similar way. I guess in some instances it can be kind of close. It's just, it's a very woody and earthy scent. And Terre d'Hermes is woody and earthy. And it does have that orange. So this has earthy notes, woods, the vetiver, and a citron. So in a way there are similarities. It's, it's just kind of almost a mashup, I guess you could look at it. But for me, it's in a weird way, almost a bit more warm weather oriented than both of them. Definitely the Gucci and with Terre d'Hermes, Eau Intense Vetiver, this is definitely more warm weather appropriate than that one for sure. And maybe in some ways a little bit more accessible also. You know, they really did a good way, they really did a good job of, of balancing this one out. All the smokes, the woods, the spices, they made this one really appealing. Let's go ahead and touch on performance here. This one is an Eau de Parfum. Longevity on my skin has been around the seven, eight hour range, somewhere around in there. Sometimes a bit more, sometimes a bit less. It just kind of depends on just the skin chemistry, that sort of thing. You'll find projection on this one to be kind of eh, just so-so. It's not a room filler, but it's also not uh, a skin scent either. It's just kind of, it's one that will announce itself, but won't be too obnoxious. You know, it, it's not, to the level of Gucci Guilty Absolute, which I keep referencing where that one is very strong on all fronts. This one's a little bit more tamed back, which I don't necessarily think is a bad thing. This could be something that you would potentially wear to work or wear just in more social environments, social gatherings, where the Gucci, you may be a little bit nervous to do so. I think this one is toned down enough with that iris, with that citron, to where it, it might work really well for you. So performance isn't bad, I can't complain. Now price is gonna be a little bit higher on this one still given the fact that it's newer, it's the newest one of the line after all. Give it some more time, it should drop down hopefully to where the others are. So it may drop another $15, which is better than nothing, but still not a huge amount. That's kind of where Wood Neroli and um, Neroli Essence or whatever they're called, I still get those mixed up, are kind of sitting extreme, and the original are gonna be a bit more on the pricier side, but given that this is kind of, a, you know, just a little bit of a different release, I think it's probably gonna float around the same price as the Essence ones, maybe even a little tiny bit more, but I think it should drop a little bit lower than like 74, 75, where it's at right now. Um, and, and I think once it does, it'll be a, a no-brainer pickup. I think right now where it's at, it, it's still worth the price. I pay that price and I'm not upset about it at all. You know, it has great quality. It is unique. It's one that kind of wakes you up. It, it's a wake-up call. It's something different. You know, people say all the time, designer brands, give us something new, give us something new. And what happens? Designer brands will give you something new and people don't support it. They bust on it, they trash it. Look at Moschino Toy Boy, right? That came out a couple of years ago, back during the the whole explosion of blue fragrances and everyone say, give me something new, give me something new. Uh, Moschino's like, okay, here, here's a, a nice, respectable men's rose fragrance. That is very nice and people dumped on it. Look, you have to be smart about this. If a brand gives you something new, just because you don't like it, that doesn't mean that it, you know it's a bad fragrance that needs to be drugged through the mud. Uh, that's the whole point of having something new and different is not everyone's gonna like it. Why do you think brands stick to stuff that works? Blue fragrances, aquatics, musk and woods and citrus. It's because most people don't get all up in arms and upset and start crying when they blind buy it and it goes wrong. So the point is support the new different stuff. And although this is not 100% unique, Terre d'Hermes, Gucci Guilty Absolute, references and comparisons, that's not even on this hand, it's still different. And it's still, you know, way off the beaten path of the mainstream nowadays super sweet fragrances or cashmere or blue fragrances, right? So give this one a shot and, and give it a chance, actually. Don't spray it on and scrub it off right away. You may need to spend some time with it. 
that's gonna do it for me. I got myself upset. No, really though, just, just try it out. This is where I need to cover this part too real quick. Uh, in terms of the rest of the line, gonna be the most daring. Uh, you go look at something like Extreme, Man Black Cologne, kind of their flagship Man in Black, uh, the Spice Bomb fragrance, right? Uh, Terra Essence is gonna be on the other end there. Much more daring in a way. Uh, so something to keep in mind. But I think that's kind of what the line needed. You know, this this line here, even though it's a designer brand, it was going down the safe path. And so it's cool to have something here that kind of changes it up. If you've tried Terra Essence, let me know what you think of it down below. I will link it down below as well so you can purchase it for a, a price below retail. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.